Hello, this is Mr. Pearson, and what we're going to talk about right now is subtracting across zeros. And we're going to be focusing primarily on three-digit subtraction. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we've got this problem right here. We have 500 minus 234. And if you remember, whenever we do subtraction, we're always going to start in the ones place. So if we look in the ones place, you see that there's a zero in the top number in your menu end, and there's a four in the subtrahend or the bottom number. And so you have to ask yourself, if I have zero, can I take away four? And the answer is no. And if you remember from when we said regrouping, we would go next door and borrow. Remember our story, we said, your friend wants some toast, some French toast, but you have zero pieces of bread, so you're going to go next door and borrow. But, uh-oh, in this particular case, it turns out that your next door neighbor, the guy who lives in Ten's place, he also doesn't have any bread. So here's what, here's how we're going to to fix this little uh, problem that we have. Instead, instead of trying to uh, figure this out, what we're going to do is we're going to make all the rest of the numbers from Ten's place on over. We're going to make that just one big group of tens. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box around it like this. So now, instead of having zero tens, we draw a box around it, and we end up with 50 tens. And now we can regroup. So remember, when we go next door, we're going to borrow... <laughs> excuse me. We're going to borrow 10. So our zero in the last place becomes a 10. And remember, we always borrow one, or we take one away. So this 50, if we take one away from it, becomes 49. Okay, we took one away from there, one to one group of ten, then took it over to the ones, and that becomes ten. Now we can subtract like normal. Ten take away four is six. Nine take away three is also six. And four take away two is two. So our answer here is 226. Let's look at another one. This time we have 400 minus 138. And again, we see that we have 0, and we need to give away 8. We can't do it. So we're going to go next door to uh, the tens place, but there's also a 0 there. So what we need to do is we're going to box. I like to call this box and regroup. We're going to, we're going to make everything a group of 10, and then we're just going to regroup like normal. Our 0 becomes a 10, because we always borrow 10. And our 40... We took one away from it, becomes 39, and then we just subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2, 9, take away 3 is 6, and 3, take away 1 is 2. Our difference here is 262, and we can check that um, by doing this. We can check it by adding our numbers back together, 138. Got that from right there. 2 plus 8 is 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 3 is 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus 1 is 4. And I compare it with this up here. And look at that. They are the same. So we get a smiley face. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's try another one. Okay, this time we don't have double zeros, but we're still in the same situation. We start in the, in the ones place, and we see that we have a two in the ones place, and we have to give away seven because we only have two. We can't do it, so we have to go next door and regroup. But as you can see, there's a zero there. So again, we're going to box, draw a box around that, make everything part of the tens place, and regroup from there. The sixty, we're going to take one away from it. It becomes fifty-nine. And our 2, because we're giving it 10, becomes a 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. 9 minus 4 is also 5. And 3 take away, or I'm sorry, 5 take away 3 is 2. Our answer is 255. Let's check our answer again real quick. We're going to add our 347 back into it. 5 plus 7 is 12, so I put down my 2, I carry my 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1. 
1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. Are these numbers the same? Yes, they are. I'm going to give myself a smiley face. Okay, here's another one just like before. Start in the ones place. We have 6 and we need to give away 7. We can't do it. So we're going to go to the tens place. There's a 0 there. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to box these numbers. Make them all part of the tens. And we're just going to regroup. 6 becomes 16. And the 80 becomes a 79 because we're taking 1 away from it. And remember, anytime we regroup, we're always regrouping 10. 16 take away 7 is 9. 9 take away 2 is 7. And 7 take away 3 is 4. Our answer is 479. We'll check real quick. 16, carry my 1, is it becomes 10, carry my 1, is 8. Double check up here. Yes, these are the same. Here's my smiley face. Now, you've got to be careful that just because you see a 0 doesn't necessarily mean you have to regroup. You need to make sure you look carefully and see that regrouping is necessary. In this particular case, let's take a look. Eight, we have eight pieces, eight pieces of bread, and our friend wants two pieces of toast. Can we do that? Absolutely we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say eight take away two is six. We can do that. There's no need to regroup there. Now we move to the tens place. We have zero, and our friend wants nine. So what do we have to do? We have to regroup, but we don't have to box. We're just going to regroup like we normally would. The 4, we take away 1 away from it, it becomes a 3. Our 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 216 is our difference. Let's see if we got the answer correct. We always check our work by adding to make sure we did it correctly. 1 plus 9 is 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's compare these numbers. Do we have what we started with? We absolutely do. Here's the smiley face. All right, here's one for you to try. 800 minus 365. So go ahead and pause the video. I'll give you a couple, couple of minutes. When you're done, you can come back and join me up again. We'll walk through the problem. So go ahead and pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you'll have the same answer. We have 800 minus 365. I have 0 and I need to give away 5. I can't do it so I'm going to go to the tens place and I see that there's a 0 in the tens place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to box all the other numbers, make them part of my tens. Now I have 80 groups of 10 and I'm going to regroup. Take one group away that becomes 79 and my 0 becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 6 is 3, 7 take away 3 is 4, 435 is my difference. Let's check our work real quick to see if we're correct. We're going to add the 365 back in, 5 plus 5 is 10, put down the 0, carry the 1 to the tens place, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, put down the 0, carry over to the hundreds place, 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So I have 800. We're going to check it with this one up here. It is correct, so I get a smiley face. Love those smiley faces. Okay, here's one more for you to try. Again, you're going to pause the video here in just a moment, and you're going to solve it, and then come back, and we'll walk through it together. 704 minus 536. Go ahead and pause the video and solve that. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what we got here. We got 704 minus 536. Let's see if we have 4 in the 1's place. Can we give away 6? We cannot, so we need to regroup. We're going to look over. Oh, there's a 0 in the 10's place, so of course we're going to box. We're now going to have 70 10's. That We're going to regroup. The 4 becomes a 14. The 70 becomes a 69. And we're going to subtract. 14 take away 6 is 8. 9 take away 3 is 6. 
6 take away 5 is 1. Our difference here is 168. Let's check our work. We're going to add the 536 back in. Here we go. 8 plus 6 is 14. Put down the 4. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. Put down my 0. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 plus 5 is 7. Let's compare. Do we have what we started with? Yes, we did. And so bring on the smiley. All right. And as you can see, that's the end of our lesson here. Um, you'll have plenty of time to, to practice that. You can always go back and watch the video again as well. But this was subtracting across zeros, focusing on three digits. And I'm Mr. Pearson.